Hey guys, in this video we're going to be talking about OpenSea and just kind of going through how to navigate it and figure out what you're looking at. It can be a bit of a experience your first time around, especially if you are not used to purchasing or bidding on or even looking at NFTs in any organized way. And uh, knowing how to navigate OpenSea is definitely going to be important if you're going to get into this space since OpenSea is definitely the most popular site right now to uh, buy NFTs on. So I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown on how to link your MetaMask wallet and navigate the page and start buying, bidding on, and trading NFTs. So let's see how it's done. So to get started, we're going to click on our search bar and go to opensea.io. And when you get to the launch page here, you're gonna see some featured NFTs and collections and trending NFTs. You're gonna see some information, resources. You'll get a list of categories here, you know, just the main page. But we are gonna go to explore. And your first view here is gonna be the trending tab. These are NFTs that are blowing up right now or you know, trending. They're getting popularity, getting exposure. They are, you know, up and coming NFTs in the space. You've got your things all around here, like profile picture NFTs and single collection NFTs, image editing MF NFTs, all different kinds here in the trending tab. If we go one over, we can see the top category. These are obviously going to be the most popular largest nft collections and nfts in general here so you've got your crypto punks and bored ape yacht club and mutant ape yacht club you've got giants like the sandbox on this list you know real names in the nft space here real big projects if you go over again you'll see the art tab this just says anything that's art anything that's a visual art medium is going to be here if it's an nft so that includes some collections as you can see here collections are included in this tab but so are single pieces and you know individual art nfts that you see around as well are going to be in this tab one more over is music because like i said in the last video anything that can be placed on the blockchain could be an nft you have music as NFTs, as you see here, there's plenty to choose from. Domain names as NFTs, entire virtual worlds as NFTs, and that's virtual worlds in a lot of different ways. The most common one is space in games. That means that these games are selling land and spaces that you can buy and modify as NFTs and have ownership of them over the blockchain. There's plenty of these that you can look at and choose from. Trading card NFTs, which are basically exactly what you think they are. They function exactly like a normal trading card would. There's plenty of collections of these too. These mostly fall under art NFTs as well. Collectibles, which are your larger collections of NFTs. This can range from anything like image sets to actual collections that you see around like meta kongs or rude boys or any of these normal you know profile picture nfts those will be here too since those are collections just like lazy lines just like crypto punks sports nfts are for sports related or endorsed nfts as you can see here some pretty interesting projects in that category and the utility tab is going to show you some projects that are really focused on utility, have a lot of utility to them. And like I said in the last video, utility is basically where a lot of these NFT projects are getting their long-term value. They're getting their long-term value from utility. And it's really important, especially nowadays, and it's becoming more and more important for an NFT project to have appealing utility for people to stick around in the long run 
and have incentive to you know buy and hold these nfts and stake them and actually participate in the community that these nft spaces are building up utility is key to that function of nfts and that's becoming a lot more prominent in the space as of late so let's say we actually want to buy an nft so let's just go and say maybe i don't know let's get a cryptode for example so on this page you'll get the stats for the actual cryptodes project you can see that it is a verified collection here you can see the total number of items that have been minted the number of owners of those items the current floor price and uh, what that basically means is it is the lowest price that one of these is available for and that is of course in ethereum as a ethereum main net site uh, OpenSea uses ethereum the volume of ethereum traded through this project and a little description you can check activities and whatnot if you look over to the left here you get a very descriptive very precise list of filters that you can use to filter out your selection here when you're you know deciding on what to purchase all the way down from you know your accessories and stuff like that you can choose traits and whatnot if you're looking for a specific one the default list here is going to be sorted in price low to high so that's going to be related to your floor price here as you can see uh, these are going to be, you know, your cheapest ones that are readily available. They're going to be, you know, of okay rarity usually and definitely representative of uh, the, the floor price. So let's say, you know, we, we have a bunch of these and we're looking at them and I just want to see, you know, how rare is some of this stuff? Like, you know, I like the glasses on this guy, but how rare are these? You can actually check that. So if you go and in your search bar type in rarity.tools then you'll be brought to this site if you click on all collections and you search for your collection so in this case it's crip toads this one and you can see the project and some very very cool very rare and expensive nfts here and we're going to take our identifier here this is the identifier for this unique nft in the collection we're going to take just the numbers copy that and paste them into the id field here we can look it up and we can get some detailed statistics on this thing so here he is it's a rarity score of 60.9 which is you know not bad not good and for each of these traits or accessories or what have you you can see exactly how many of these ex uh, traits are present in the collection so white and red goggles for example is a pretty rare pretty uncommon trait here with only 130 having it so okay that looks good now let's say we want to you know we like this one we want to buy it well the way you do that is through this section here and there are a couple of ways to do it so your number one option on the left here is going to be buy now and that's going to immediately buy this nft for the listed price and here is that listed price approximately translated into us dollars because obviously this is ethereum you can buy now or you can make an offer and how that works is using what's called wrapped ethereum you can just like an auction make a bid on this nft just like ebay or any other auction site the way it works is everyone that wants it can make a bid and by the end of a set time period the best bid will get it so you can see here these are the current offers from these people for this nft in wrapped ethereum and it has a different icon to denote that but we don't want to deal with that right now we're, we're just trying to get in and get an nft right so what we're going to do is just click buy now that's going to prompt us here to link our ethereum wallets you have a lot of choices with ethereum wallets and we'll probably be making a video covering all the different choices and their pros and cons here but for now i like metamask so i'm going to click metamask 
it's going to open my MetaMask window here to connect my MetaMask wallet with OpenSea.io. I'm going to obviously have my profile selected and click Next. It's just a disclaimer. You're going to click Connect, and it's going to automatically connect your wallet to OpenSea. So good, now we're linked up. You can see my little uh, circle icon here. If I click buy now, we're brought to this page here, basically a checkout window. If I agree to the terms of service, then if I have the required Ethereum to purchase this, then I'll be able to confirm checkout. And within a matter of minutes, I'll have a brand new NFT right in my wallet. And there you go. That's how you get started trading and purchasing NFTs on OpenSea.io. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and leave a comment down below. It really helps us out. And if you want to keep up to date with us and get notified every time we have a new upload, be sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. That'll give you a notification whenever we have a new upload so that you can stay in the loop. And until next time, stay meta.